Hi, this is Whitney, aka Shakespeare. Today I'm going to share a little tip on how to create clearance between pieces that you're going to 3D print. In this case, I have a couple of these really cute little lizards. This is the MC Escher style of lizard where they, you know, tessellate, they uh, interlock with each other like puzzle pieces. Uh, this is a file that I've downloaded from the Thingiverse. This is Escher Lizard by a guy who calls himself Clueless Dweeb. Um, you can see here very clearly how the lizards all fit together. Um, and I printed a bunch of these, but the problem is they don't fit. Now, my printer is very well calibrated. The problem here is that there's no clearance between the pieces. If you see these two models, as we line them up on top of each other, there's no space between them. So if your printer is calibrated right, it will print pieces with no space between them. And they're never gonna fit like that. So we've gotta fix that. Luckily, that's pretty easy to do in Blender. So let's get rid of this guy and we'll work on this one. So the first thing we wanna do is go over here to the Add Modifier selection and in the generate, whoops, in the generate column here, we're going to go down to solidify. Now we've used solidify before for taking an object that's just a surface and making it a solid. Um, in this case, we're going to use it a little bit differently. Um, make sure the offset is set to minus one, and we'll set the thickness just for this example to one. Um, the offset determines which side of the model you're offsetting the copy to. So if offset is set to minus one, it's making a copy of this inside the model. If you're setting the offset to plus one, it'll make the copy on the outside of the model, which won't help us any in this application. Um, thickness of 1.0 is probably more than you're gonna want for a model this size, but that's where you tweak adjust, you know, make your changes to change how it fits. Uh, uh, the bigger the number you add there, the more clearance you're putting in. So if you want it to fit nice and snug, make a smaller number there. Um, you got to play around with it. You got to adjust one and then print it and see how they fit. Actually print two of them because you're changing the size on both of them. Okay, so we'll apply this. Now, nothing changed in here that we can see. But what happened is we actually made a copy of our little guy inside. If we hit Z to go into wireframe mode, you'll notice that there's another copy of it inside here. Another way we can show it is if we go into sketch mode, or sculpt mode rather, uh, we hit H and drag a box around this guy to hide part of it. And then we can zoom in and you can see both layers. So you can see there's a copy of our little lizard guy that's inside him, okay? So basically that is offset all of the surfaces. And it's kind of like if we took a piece of sandpaper and sanded the outside of everything, okay? Now uh, we'll just Alt H so we're seeing everything again and we'll go into edit mode. Now right now we have all of the vertices selected. We don't want that because we only want to take off the outside copy. So hit A to deselect, hit any ver vertex on there and control L to select linked. Okay and now we can slide them apart and you'll see we've got two copies one of them is slightly skinnier than the other. It's not really smaller, it's skinnier. Um, you might think, you know, we could solve this problem by just making it smaller and it would fit looser, but the problem is you make it smaller, you're making all the parts of it smaller. And you're making, you know, the male parts smaller and the female parts that you need to interlock are both gonna be made smaller uniformly. So, this technique allows us to basically skim off the outside of it as if we were taking sandpaper and sanding the outside of it. 
which doesn't make it smaller, it just makes it skinnier. And I'll show you in a minute the comparison of these, of these two. So for now, let's delete this one because that's the copy we don't need. And we're left with our slightly skinnier version, which now has the clearance in it. Now, there's a little bit of a problem with this in terms of 3D printing it. Um, because when Blender made this surface, it was on the inside of the model, Blender assumed that it was the inside of a hollow model. So all of the normals are pointing inward on this right now. And that's not going to slice very well. So we select everything. We go over to the shading and UV menu and we say recalculate normals. Now, you notice that it got lighter when we did that because that's how Blender distinguishes between whether you're looking at the outside of a surface or the inside of a surface. The inside of a surface is slightly darker. Um, so when it gets light like that, we know we're looking at the outside. We have oriented all the normals properly, and now this will slice properly. So we'll go back into object mode. Hit Shift D, and we'll move that around, and then we can hit R to rotate, and move it around again until we get it pretty well lined up, and we'll see... A little bit more. Just doing this by eye just so we can get it lined up. And you'll see that now we've got a clearance between our two pieces. Just like that. Now, that might be too much of a clearance. In fact, I exaggerated it so that it would be obvious on, on the video. If you want things to fit tightly, you know, that, that's going to be a pretty loose fit. But basically, that's the technique. You make a shell that's offset from the shell that you want to print. That's offset on the inside, and then you delete the outside copy. Okay? So here's another view that shows really clearly what we did. We've got the original in yellow down below, and then we have the new slimmed down version with the clearances added uh, on top. If we hit 7 to go into an overhead view and make sure we're in ortho view so we're not getting perspective, we zoom in and you can see very clearly the yellow you're seeing around there is the clearance that we removed when we did this. And just to kind of help everybody understand what's going on here, again we have the original lizard on the bottom, the reduced lizard on the top, we line them up exactly, and now we hit S to scale. And I'll show you what happens if we just scale the, the lizard down. You see how it scales, and it becomes quite differently shaped than our reduced version of it. So you see all that irregularity around the edge. That's the difference between just scaling it down and actually taking a shell off the outside of it and adding clearance to it. Okay? So, adding clearance is different than just shrinking the object. It takes a little bit of, uh, of thinking to get your head around this, but hopefully this video um, makes it a little bit clearer. We talked about this on the 3D Printing Today podcast, um, but since we can't show videos on the podcast, it's just an audio feed, I thought I would do this video so that people could get a better sense of what was going on and uh, hopefully understand a little better. So keep listening to the podcast. That's 3D Printing Today, uh, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio, and keep watching the YouTube channel. Thank you.